All right, all right, sound good. All right, let's tag it in. Hello, this is Abby, Abisha, with Truth for Life Radio, Bliss. We are at the Winter Jam. Who do I have the pleasure of interviewing? I'm Q, and this is with Rob Brack. All right, and you, sir? I'm J. Rob with Rob Brack. Okay, okay, so is this a clothing line? We're more than a clothing line. We talk the baby. Okay, let me, is this what y'all wearing? Let me, let me get a little model showcase. Oh, that hat, uh, that do right, all right. We are everywhere. That's live, that's live. So how do you all get started with it? We just thought we wanted to bring something more, you know. Like I said, we a culture, you know. Who don't want to be black? Right. We, we pop it. Right. You know how you, you know how you say when we out here in the mm-hmm. street. Everybody want a little piece of the black culture, so we want to yeah. give them a piece, you know. So mm-hmm. we pushing white bread. Young, black, rich, and gifted. All right, I like that. So uh, where y'all from? We from right here. All right. Yeah. All right, well, hold on. Let me, what, how old are y'all? I'm 25. Okay. I'm 31. Okay, are you my age? Okay, so we are in the same age group. So in terms of like clothing, you know, DC has a certain, you don't want to really want to say it, like Kanye West said, like DC really influenced him. Because he was a child here growing up, his mother was back and forth between Chicago and China. He said he got a lot of his style from DC. So how, what would you all say were your style influences growing up here? It was the hip hop culture, you know. Mm-hmm. It's always been the hip hop culture. Yeah. And you know, right here in DC, we got our, you know, we got our own way of doing things. So, you know, we like to keep our way, you know, strong. We like to keep it vibrant. You know, we want to keep it alive. Uh huh. I'm, I'm pretty much. I like the urban streetwear. Okay. I like urban streetwear, uh, skating wear, uh-huh. skate culture. I like the way they do. Yeah, I remember like for uh, for my my um like around 07, 08, I remember when Lupe came out with like kick push. Yeah. Everybody was like they skateboarded and like it became hot topic. DC, I, I, that was like one of my favorite like ways in in uh in style. It, that's funny though. So what would you would you all categorize your clothing line as uh, urban or? Would you like to keep it open? What would you categorize it as? Oh, we we always gonna remain open. We mm-hmm. we always open because you know times are forever changing. So you know mm-hmm. it's one thing to be able to you know adapt with the times that you in. So mm-hmm. you know as fashion changes, you know we plan to you know, keep going strong and changing with it. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, right now, you, if you see it, it's more so urban. Uh-huh. But. When we get the, when we get noticed and, and, and we get out there, we are gonna go to the extreme. We we trying to get to the extreme. Okay. We, we ain't gonna go Kanye extreme and say y'all some homeless man. I was about to bro. ask you. I mean, we do got Kanye type. Uh huh. I mean, we, we, got some we, we love there, we, we love to put the holes in the clothes. Uh-huh. <laughs> we give you some distress with some bleach. Yeah, we, we like that. Yeah. How do y'all feel about that? Those shirts are like five hundred dollars. Like, what's your honest opinion about that? I mean, that? shout out to Kanye. You gotta get it how you live. I mean, he a hustler, so he hustling. I mean, I can't knock his hustle because you know you do what you do. Yeah. <laughs> I would say, like, I remember that it looks smack like American Apparel when yeah. you climb over a fence and then you ripped it. <laughs> That's what exactly what it looked like. If Kanye clothes too expensive, just come to Wild Brad. We, we put the holes in there cheaper. Um, <laughs> if Kanye gonna charge you 500 for the hole, I'm gonna charge you 50. I'm gonna knock one of them zeros off, baby. You got to, you got to mess with us because we gonna mess with you. <laughs> so, do you all do custom? Like, what, what would you all do? Or do you come out like with seasonal lines? How would you say you release your work? A- everything custom because it's limited. Once we make it, that's a one and done. Okay. Yeah, a lot of, we do a lot of custom. Because we feel like a lot of people don't like to wear the same things as other uh-huh. people. And that's how I feel about my clothes. I don't really like to wear the same things as other uh-huh. people. So I like to do a lot of custom. Like, we do a lot of custom. Okay, okay, okay. So, like, oh, you all are usually at events like this. Like, what would you say has been the main marketing force for you really getting your brand out there? Social media. Always social media. Yeah. You know, people love that Instagram and that Snapchat. Yeah, it's true. You know, people got to, they living their lives through it, so we living it with them, trying to get a little bit of the money while we at it. We ain't trying to knock nobody, baby, but we love everybody. <laughs> That's funny. So, have y'all been to other states? Have you traveled with your brand? Yeah, we we did win the jam two two K sixteen. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so we went uh, Jersey. Okay. Jersey last year, so we went to Jersey. 
we, we're going to do a lot of other cities. We basically focused out here for now, but we, we want to do like a little tour. We want to go to Miami and L.A. and, and things like that. Oh, yeah. I would definitely say like Richmond would be one of those places because they're close and they, they probably like, and then like the 75, like there's so many areas in between that really mess with D.C. culture, like. We are really like an important piece in this whole like schematic between New York and Atlanta. Yeah, and we, and we, and we with that, you know, because you know, you know, love, love from your city is one thing, but you know, love around the world is a whole another thing. Yeah. And, and we want that global love because you know we mess with everybody. Yeah. And we big on not just being local. We want to be at least, you know, at least national. Okay. Yeah, so, okay, let me, um, outside of um, D.C., what would you say is one of your favorite cities and going to and would like that you like promoting in? Man, we went to Jersey and New York, and, and you know, we got love out Jersey they and showed, New York. They showed us a lot of love in New York. Okay. So, you know, yeah, so we, we, we couldn't even walk down the streets in New York without getting love. So okay. New York showed a lot of love. Uh, a lot of people see it, and they want to know what it's about. I mean, we, we got to tell them what it is, you know. It, it's young, black, rich, and gifted. And like I said, we culture. Mm -hmm. You know, like I said, you know, black culture is dominant. And I just, I want to break that down. Young, black, rich, and gifted doesn't act exactly mean what it, what it says. Like, young is like staying fresh. Black, we feel like we started from nothing. Rich, you can be rich in, uh, you can be rich in spirit. Anything. You can be rich in, you know, health, things like that. And the gifted, well, that's just the gifted. Because everybody, everybody got their own gift. You just gotta know what it is. I mean, you got, you got to find your niche and you gotta stick with it. It's true. Because once you got what you do, can't nobody take that from you. And like right now, can't nobody take this from us. Why brag is what we are. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you see it. I mean, like I said, it's on my head, it's on my chest. We living, we breathing that. You know. All right, so let us know where we can find your personal Instagram, clothing, Instagram, everything, website, everything. Why brag underscore or nothing? Why brag underscore or underscore nothing? That's on Instagram, and you can uh, our uh, web page. It's whybragornothing.com. Okay, okay. And personal Instagram? My Instagram? Man, my thing long as a mug, yo. That thing King like, Sweets. That thing King, King Sweets underscore whybrag underscore MBK. Okay. You know? you know, and like I said, you know, you got my man here. All right. You want to let us your Instagram? I'm Gerard underscore J Rod underscore Kelly. Y'all love y'all underscores. <laughs> yeah, hey, you, you got to look. The underscore make you different on Instagram. They're like, oh, that dick might be special. He might be special. He got an underscore. And then you look at it, and I got two underscores. So it's like, oh, he popping. He got two underscores. You know? <laughs> All right, this is Abby signing out. I'm going to let y'all give him the website and your names one more time before we go. Hey. This your boy Q. I'm with Why Brag, and you know what it is. Why be a win? Why brag or nothing? It's J Rock. Why brag or nothing.com. All right, Abby with Triple Life Radio. We at Bliss Winter Jam, and we out.